Good Monday morning from uh, Mission Control Houston. This is the International Space Station Flight Control Room. As you're looking at a team of flight controllers watching over uh, data on their consoles, supporting uh, all of the systems aboard the International Space Station, the uh, orbiting complex uh, uh, tracking about uh, 250 miles uh, above the South Pacific, just having moved into an orbital sunrise, and it's just about to swing across the southern tip of Chile before heading out across the uh, South Atlantic and then up across uh, portions of Africa. The uh, systems on board the station are in excellent shape, and the crew on board uh, had a great weekend, a uh, quiet weekend, uh, with some uh, routine maintenance activities on board, and uh, then got into a busy day of uh, work today with some household maintenance and some experiment work on board uh, for the three crew members. The flight control team here is uh, being led by uh, veteran flight director Matt Abbott. You see there in the blue shirt, and uh, he is joined by veteran astronaut Shannon Lucid, who is uh, serving as the communications interface between this team and the crew aboard the International Space Station. And Mike, that's affirmative on all counts. We're working, and now you can work. <laughs> all right, we'll do, thanks. You're welcome. That crew aboard the uh, International Space Station includes uh, ISS Expedition 29 Commander Mike Fossum. You saw a uh, move there through the U.S. Laboratory Destiny. He is joined by his fellow uh, crewmates, uh, Russian cosmonaut Sergei Volkov, who served as part of the Expedition 17 crew back in uh, April to October of 2008. And they're also joined by uh, Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency astronaut Satoshi Furukawa. He is on his first flight into space. All three uh, gentlemen enjoying their 130th day aboard the International Space Station uh, today, uh, 132 days total in space. The uh, crew members uh, woke up uh, a little bit after midnight uh, U.S. Central Time. They uh, uh, finished their day heading to bed about uh, 4.30 in the afternoon each day. In between that, uh, all of their routine activities uh, are folded into the experiment work that the crew members conduct as well. Uh, Mike Fossum has spent some time uh, swapping out a uh, uh, essentially part of uh, uh, the electrical system on board the station in one of the uh, behind one of the racks inside the laboratory destiny. Uh, that. Uh, switching unit, uh, periodically those fail and there's plenty of spares on board the station uh, to swap out those uh, uh, switching units and that uh, system's been fully recovered. Another switching unit is planned to be swapped out uh, in the coming days uh, this week for the crew members uh, on board. Busy week uh, set aside for the crew. That will include some uh, interviews uh, for the crew members. Mike Fossum will uh, talk with two uh, network uh, uh, news media organizations on Wednesday. And then on Friday, he'll talk to a group of school students in Birmingham, Alabama, to uh, talk about life aboard the uh, International Space Station. So the crew... Uh, spending the first day of their work week uh, with experiments on board in various laboratories on the station, maintenance activities, exercise, uh, a typical routine that uh, one would enjoy uh, here on the ground, only this crew is enjoying it 240 miles above the Earth. <laughs> 